all right guys welcome back to the channel hill creek outdoors wanted to give you guys an update on the pasture here we did get some seed on to it about two weeks ago uh so gonna want to show you how it's growing and how it's kind of coming up it's still a little thin we've actually had a uh, kind of a drought going on right now over the last couple weeks where we went almost i think seven or eight days where we didn't have any rain at all and that was right after we threw the seed down so it, it didn't really germinate and get going quite as well as I wanted it to um, but we do have some coming up as you can see behind us but we're going to drive you around the pasture here show you what we got uh, we'll get in the Polaris Ranger XP 1000 to do that um, just kind of show you in the back there behind the trees where it was kind of shaded it actually came up a little bit better um, if you if you did know if you've been watching the channel we threw on oats as well as a fescue so we did two two parts there trying to get the oats to establish a little bit quicker so if it did rain it didn't wash away too much um, I do think that some of the rain washed the seed out as you can see so we're gonna have to overseed it and we'll continue to do that but hey without further ado let's go ahead and jump into Polaris Ranger XP 1000 and ride you around and show you what it kind of is looking like so far all right so we're gonna pull right out through here around the barn and we did want to make sure we had established a path that goes all the way around because when we put our fencing in for our livestock, we're going to want to make sure we go around, are able to go around where our fence is and spray for spray the fence line. That way it doesn't grow up through there. So we do have a path that's going to be going around the entire uh, pasture field. So let's go right on here and I'll show you where it starts. So you can see right here where our track is. Yeah, we've done it a couple times. The grass actually didn't, or the seed didn't come up very well there. But we're going to go right along the edge here. And then this whole thing, you can see there's there's places where it actually came up much thicker. We still got a lot of thin spots. Like I said, this is probably about two weeks now, two and a half weeks maybe going on. And... This isn't the biggest pasture, but I think it's right around uh, three three acres in total. I think my measurement is correct. It's about three acres. Um, but we do have a little wooded area right here where we can have the livestock get into some shade. But if we look back, it goes back there a little bit further. We'll, we'll head back there here in a minute. But looking back towards where the barn and stuff is, you can see how it's coming up. And then we got a path right along the bottom there that comes back up here and we'll drive around there. So it's not looking terrible, but there are some areas that need a, some tender love and care with some more seed thrown on there. Let's keep riding around here. So we've got a lot of stuff going on on the channel. I know if you've seen our last couple videos, um, we've been talking about potentially upgrading uh, tractors and been looking at a whole bunch of different options. So I think if you guys stay around in the channel, you're going to see some new additions probably coming here soon. Um, I think you'll enjoy that. We'll get a lot of content out on that. But yeah, you know, we really enjoy you guys coming back to the channel. We couldn't do this without you. There's so much feedback that we get, and we just love watching and reading all the comments. That's how we get better. That's how we get you guys information that is useful for you. So please, if you have any comments or any questions or anything you'd like to see, make sure you put it down there in the uh, comments section because we will definitely get that content out to you to help you out. Down here is where we got our path going right up along the edge, as you can see here. We only threw fescue down through here. Just because we didn't need no oats there. But you can see how it's coming up just a little bit better back here in the back, where it was a little more shaded. Uh, during that period where it was just hot, no rain. Down here in this low spot, we threw a little bit of gravel because it was a little soft there in the moment.
yeah, looking back up through here, it hasn't actually turned out too bad. You can see the oak coming up. If you look real close, you can see that that fescue starting to, to sprout up real nice. I think some of them there's about four inches. <clears throat> looking back this way, you can see how we turn the corner and go up through there. There's a lot of nice trees in here for cover. Looking back up towards the barn. So you can see how wide the road is. We wanted to make the road wide enough to where the Polaris Ranger and any equipment that we would have would fit on there. Hey, look here. We got some deer tracks down here. That's pretty neat. You can see where it's a little soft down here. We threw some gravel in here. It's already been covered up with some more dirt. But you can see how the deer's been walking through here. There are plenty of deer around our area, and we just truly enjoy deer hunting and just doing anything outdoors, you know? I'll tell you what, another thing that comes in handy is a lot of these accessories we added on to the Polaris Ranger. You know, that's another thing that we, we try to do for you guys and help out is just throw all those links in the description there below. That way that you can get quick, easy reference to anything you might see. Last thing you want we want you to do is go around searching for things. We just make it easy for you and put it in the description. You can click on that link and potentially purchase it for your guys' use. That's, that's the best method. I know I appreciate that from other folks from their channels. There's a lot of channels out there and it's just nice to be able to watch and if you see something you think would be useful for you just click on it and go but yeah i think this has got a way to go but it is in the process we just wanted to show you guys the update today and stay tuned follow the channel you know if you would want to subscribe or like it really does help us out I'm glad you guys want to come on this journey with us. This has been fun, and we're going to continue to get you content out there. We're excited where the channel's going, and there's a lot of good things coming up here in the future. So until next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors, we'll see you next time.